cleanliness is half of faith, whether it is the cleanliness of our body, dress or surroundings. If we talk about the cleanliness of the body, the cleaning of the mouth is greatly important and necessary and plays a vital role in the personality of a person. If the mouth is fragrant and clean, it has a good impact on the other person and if the mouth smells or the teeth are dirty, it has an extremely bad impact on the other person. The mouth is cleaned in various ways and one of those ways is to use miswak, which is also the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. So we was in today's how to video, we will discuss how to use miswak. First of all, remember that the thickness of the miswak should be equal to the thickness of the little finger and its length should be a hand span at max. There is no harm if it is smaller than a hand span, but it should not be so small that it cannot be held according to the sunnah way. The sunnah way of holding the miswak is that you should keep your thumb at this point and little finger on the lower side of the miswak and three fingers on the upper side. The bristles of the miswak should be soft because hard bristles cause a gap between the teeth and gums. First, wash the miswak thoroughly before using it. Recite Bismillah. First, brush the upper right teeth with the miswak, then brush the upper left teeth with the miswak. Then brush the lower right teeth with the miswak and then the lower left ones. Now, wash your miswak and then use the miswak again in the same way. Now, to use the miswak for the third time, wash it and use it in the same way. Use miswak along the width of the teeth. After brushing your teeth with the miswak thrice, wash the miswak and put it straight in a vertical position. Do not put miswak in a horizontal position. Trim the bristles of the miswak daily and try not to throw the bristles which remain in your mouth into a drain etc. because miswak is a means of performing a sunnah. That is, it is such an instrument through which a sunnah is performed. Hence, respect dictates that we place these bristles in such a place where they are not disrespected. Anyway, even if a person does not do this, it is not a sin, it is just a point of respect. Remember that it is allowed to use miswak even in the state of fasting. In fact, just like using the miswak is sunnah in other days, using miswak is sunnah in the state of fasting as well. However, if bristles separate from the miswak because of chewing it or its taste is felt, we should not use such a miswak while fasting. Viewers, if you use miswak according to the aforementioned method, inshallah, you will get abundant benefits from it. See you in the next video with a new topic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.